Celebrating YouTube, this is Computer Crash Zero here with your weekly tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a batch file that will back up all of your files for you. It's also going to request where you want the file, so I need you to pay close attention to all the details. So, first thing we do, obviously, open up our text editor, in this case Notepad++. There'll be a link in the description below for Notepad. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and select our language. So we'll go Language batch because we all need more batch files in our life these things are good now let's get into the codes first thing we're going to do is at echo off if you've watched any of my other tutorials you know this is always what you need to do to start out a batch file this just makes it work the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set our variables so we're going to go set slash p double quotation marks now the reason we're using the quotation marks is in case our input source has any spaces in it. Now we need to declare our variable. So we're going to go input, keep it simple, equals space input. Now after the equal sign, this is what you're going to see on screen. So if you want to make it anything fancy like where are your files at? Where do you want them to go? That's up to you. Use your imagination. These things can be fun. Next, we're going to set another variable called output. So, you guessed it, same command. Set slash p, space, double quotation marks, output, equals output. Now this is where the fun happens. This is going to be the script we use to automatically back up our files. If you paid attention to my last tutorial, you would have got an introduction to Robocopy. And that's exactly what we're going to use today. So we're going to go Robocopy As usual guys, I can't seem to spell so just bear with me. And now we're going to go and we're going to call in our variables. So we need to put double quotations, double parentheses to call in our variable. We're going to call our first variable input. As you can see, it automatically prompts us for what it thinks it's going to do. We're going to go space, double quotations again, double parentheses, output. Go to the end of our script, put a space. We're going to go slash E. Now this is the switch to declare everything. So that's everything in the directory, including the empty ones, subdirectories, etc. We're going to go Space again, go slash create. Now, if you paid attention to my last tutorial, I would have shown you how to use these in the command line. So, we're going to use the exact same files. I'm sorry, structure switches. Can't talk today as well, today, guys. So, the slash e calls everything. The slash create will create the directory if it doesn't already, doesn't already exist. Next, we're going to go and we're going to put a nice little message. So we're going to go echo. Now, the reason we use the echo command is because this is going to display the text on the screen for us. And we're going to say, your files have been backed up. Next line, we're going to do pause. Now, the reason we're doing the pause command is because it does just that. It pauses. It lets us know our script is done. Now we're just going to go File, Save As, we're going to go directly to our desktop, we're going to save it as backup.bat. Once it's created in our desktop, we're going to need to find what we want to back up. In this case, we're going to back up these two videos. Now these are some of my older videos, feel free to look them up. And now we're going to open up our batch file. As you can see, it's requesting our input. So we're going to come over here to our file explorer, select our input, copy, go back to our batch file, paste. Now it has our input. Hit enter. It's requesting our output. In this case, I'm going to go to my D drive. We're going to go to the test folder. We're going to copy and paste the destination. So we're going to go D drive and we're going to go 
slash and we're going to put it in somewhere else. So let's go folder one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to click enter. That was pretty fast, guys. Look at that. It says that it's already done. So let's verify that it's done. We're going to go back to my D drive, back to test, folder one, two, three, four, five, six. Here are my videos. And it's that easy to create a batch file that will back up anything you want as long as you have the source and the destination. Well, guys, if you have any comments, leave them below. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them below as well. And if you want to request a different type of batch file, or if you have suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If there's anything else, feel free to put them in the comments. All right, guys, this is Computer Christ Zero signing out. Have a good day.